name is Jess and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So happy and excited to have you here today. And for today's video, I want to share with you four new DIYs that I made extremely easy, budget friendly, using Dollar Tree items. And these DIYs turn out amazing. I'm going to share with you a few hacks of how to make them look modern and with a high-end look. So I just hope that you like and enjoy today's video. And if you do, please say a big, big, big thumbs up. That really helps to support my channel. Let me know in the comments. I want to know which of these DIYs was your favorite let me know that in the comments and make sure that you're subscribed and guys very important make sure that you're subscribed and that you hit the bell and when you hit the bell you need to make sure that you select all of the videos or something like that is what says in the YouTube channel because that way YouTube is going to notify you when I post each and one of my videos so make sure that you are subscribe and that you hit that bell and also remember to follow me on all my social media pages i've been posting so much on my instagram diy by jazz um if you have like behind the scenes and things that i just do at home that way you're going to know a little bit more about me um so yeah make sure that you follow me on instagram all my social media pages and my other channel just on my home guys we post a new video, um, I did like a full make cover on my living room and it turned out amazing. The video is so cool and so much fun, so make sure that you check that, all of the links in the description box. So yeah, uh, let's get started with this one. <laughs> Okay guys, so for this project, I'm going to be using these shower curtain rings that I get from Dollar Tree. You can get these in the package bring 12. So I'm going to be using these. I'm not going to use them all. I think like five or six curtain rings, but you decide how many you want to use. Um, anyways, I'm going to be using this youth cord that I also get from Dollar Tree. And basically what I'm going to be doing is to cover the shower curtain rings with the youth cord. I'm going to be covering these super easy but it's going to take you a little bit of time so just relax put some music and enjoy the process once I covered the first one with the youth cord I'm going to be adding the next one and I'm going to place it inside of the one that has the rope and then I'm going to start covering that that way I'm going to make sure that this is going to look like a chain garland I'm going to be doing the same with all of the curtain rings like I said I think I used like six but you can do it longer if you want or um, a little bit shorter and once I cover all of them with the youth cord this is how um, my rope garland chain is going to look um, if you want you can add you can put some fire in it and that way the rope is going to burn out just a little bit and it's going to give it more color and it's going to give it a nicer touch so yeah this is how I did it this is how my project ended up looking is super inexpensive I only spent two dollars on this project and I think it looks amazing you can place this anywhere inside of a tray on a table um, and I think it looks super nice For this next project, I'm going to be reusing this tray that I have at home for like two or three years ago. Um, you can get one of these at Dollar Tree Plus, I think like for three or five dollars. Or you can use the smaller trays from Dollar Tree that only cost one, you decide, or you can reuse any one that you have at home. But anyways, um, basically what I'm going to do is to paint that white part. I'm going to add um, the wax in antique color just to give it more color i don't want these to have white so i just painted with the wax and this is how it's going to look next all of the borders that are like round i'm going to change that i want to give it a really bold look so for that i'm going to be using my Waverly chalk paint in black color and i'm going to be very carefully painting all of the borders of my tray I 
I want to make like a rattan look so for that I'm going to be using this non-slip rock underlay that I, that you can get from Dollar Tree of course I know guys this is not rattan but it's going to give it that really nice touch and it's going to look pretty similar um, and it's going to cost only one dollar so I'm going to be using these and I'm going to measure and then cut my rock underlay in the correct size To stick these and make sure they sticks well I'm going to be using my super glue and I'm going to add it very carefully um, on the edges and a few spots just to make sure that it sticks well on my tray once I was done guys this is how the project ended up looking and I really like it guys I'm so happy how this turn out with a high and looks it looks very modern um, and nobody's gonna know that you use a non-sleep rug I really like it if you have rattan at home you can use that too um, but if you don't have it this is another inexpensive option For the next project, I'm going to be using this small clear vase that you can get from Dollar Tree um, and I decided to give it a really nice touch. Now, I'm going to be adding this blue tape that you can also get at Dollar Tree and I'm going to make like a shape, it's going to look like a V or something like that. You can form anything that you want that you like on your vase and you can use this vase or anyone that you have at home actually to make this DIY. Now, what I want to do is give it a coat of paint with my spray paint in metallic gold color. Um, so I did that, I went outside, I gave it one coat of this paint and then I let it dry. Now, I think I did like a mistake because this DIY doesn't turn out like I want to because my idea was to give it a second coat of this black spray paint but I don't know why when I leave this outside and I let it dry it turned out looking like this I don't know why I did wrong maybe it was because of the gold spray color that was not dry at all I have no idea but it turned out looking like this and actually I really like it so maybe that's one tip or something that you can create maybe it's because of the metallic gold that I paint first and it was not, and it was not dry when I give it the second coat with the black one I'm not sure but this is how the project turned out and uh, guys I really like it I think it looks very unique and with a high-end look so let me know if you like it and if you have done any painting technique with spray paint that ended up looking like this um, but I don't know I actually like it and I think it turned out great For this next project and this is one of my favorite ones I'm going to be using this hanging wire planter that I, you can get from Dollar Tree and I have these for a long time and I never have an idea of what I can do with it and now I have it so I'm going to share that with you I remove all of the chains from the hanging um, planter and then I'm going to be using wire you can use any wire that you have maybe a stronger one than this one this is from Dollar Tree it's the only one that I have at home home so I'm going to be using this one I'm just going to wrap it a little bit and make it a little bit more um, thick and strong and I did a few of these pieces with the wire now it is time to add these to the hanging planter and I'm going to be like wrapping and tying these on the top of the planter hope that makes sense and you can see what I'm doing they're going to have like an arc shape on the top of the planter um, and I'm going to be attaching five of these around the planter once I tie all of the pieces of wire this is how it's going to look 
now is when the magic happens i'm going to be using my nautical rope from dollar tree this is super thick you can use that if you want or you can separate all of the three pieces of rope that are in this nautical rope and i'm going to be um gluing i'm going to start on the bottom and i'm going to start gluing and, and turning the rope around all of the wire because i want to cover this whole piece with rope it's super easy but it's going to take a little bit of time so just relax put some music um, drink a cup of coffee and enjoy the process To cover this whole piece, I only use one of the nautical ropes from Dollar Tree, so I think that's great. You can do that with any rope that you have at home, or this one from Dollar Tree um, is going to cost less money. Okay, now it's time to burn all of the rope, and this is going to make a huge difference in your project. It's going to give it a high end look, make the rope look so much better, um, and it's going to give it like more textures. So I'm going to be doing that and this is how it ended up looking. Now for the second part of this project, I'm going to be using this plant stand that I did like one year ago and I have a video for that. I'm going to leave that link in the description box. So I want to fix it a little bit. I want to make it a little bit stronger. I add some wooden glue on the legs. I know it looks super messy. I'm going to be clean all of that. I add some wooden glue on the legs and also I'm going to be adding screws on the legs because it only has nails before. I think it's going to work so much better and be more stronger with screws so I did that the next step is going to change the colors I want to make these and make it look like new and a little bit different with a modern look so I'm going to be changing the brown color and I'm going to be covering that with black I'm going to be using my Rivoli shock paint in black color I just have to give it one coat of paint and then just let it dry Once I paint my plant stand with a black color, this is how it ended up looking and I really like it. I think it looks just like new and it give it a new vibe and I like it. Um, the bottom part, I think it looks great in white color. So I'm just going to add some tape around just to make sure that when I paint it's going to have straight lines. And I'm going to paint the bottom part with my Reverly shock paint in white color, then let it dry and then I can remove all of the tape and you're going to have a straight lines with the difference of colors on your plant stand now that I have my plant stand painted it's time to put all together I'm going to be adding um, basically the rope basket that I did I'm going to be adding that on the top you can add hot glue but I'm going to leave it like that um, just to be able to change it later if I want to I'm going to be using these planter that I get from Dollar Tree now I like the green color but I actually want to change it so I'm going to be using this ivory this spray paint color I think that's the name and I'm going to spray paint this outside and then let it dry once it is dry this is how it's going to look and I'm going to add that inside of the um, rope basket that I did and then you can add any plant any flower any greenery that you have I actually going to be using this ones that I get from um, Walmart I think and a few other ones that I have from Ikea I think this is going to give it a really nice touch because these plants are hanging from the basket and that is going to make this project look amazing and this is how it ended up looking uh, it has a high-end look 
um, and I just love it I'm going to be leaving you the link of the other video when I did these plant stand so make sure that you check that link um, and if you like this video please a big thumbs up that really helps to support this channel let me know in the comments which of these ideas and projects was your favorite and make sure that you're subscribed that you hit the bell and that you share this video with friends and family please follow me on all my social media pages all of the links are in the description box as well as my other channel just on my home guys love you so much and see you in my next video Mwah. bye